How is it to go? Well, now out to there, everybody. This is Jordan Jones. I'd like to share you guys my top 10 favorite Mario games of all time because, you know, Mario is my favorite franchise for video gaming. Since we'll be doing my top 10 Mario games of all time, so if you're looking forward to this, don't forget to drop a like on this video and That lets me know that you're excited about this, so without further ado, let's -a go. Coming at the number 10 spot for my top 10 favorite Mario games, we have New Super Mario Bros. Wii, which came out for the Nintendo Wii back in 2009. Excuse me. What's really fun about this game is, of course, you, of course, you get introduced, of course, I love the power-ups, like the propeller suit, for example. And it's so acrobatic. Because if you shake your Wii remote, you can get an extra boost with it. And everything moves at such a fast pace in this game, making it really fun to speedrun for each level. The only problem I somewhat have is that Mario does slip around a little bit in this game with the controls. Because the controls are not the best, but... But otherwise, I, I agree with this being on the list. Uh, of course the controls are not the best, but... But the graphics are perfect. But the graphics look perfect. Making each level really fun to play and stuff like that. And the propeller suit's really fun to use because it is so broken and you can use it to skip portions of each level, but... But this game's introduced Star Coins. This game has Star Coins. It was the first 2D Mario game to have co-op get to have co-op story mode. Um, and of course had Star Coins like you had in the original New Super Mario Bros. DS game. Then you had to do this. I had you doing this. And this was the first Mario game to introduce the Ice Flower. Yes, it wasn't some Mario Galaxy first, but it wasn't in 2D Mario game until this game. See, the Ice Flower really works well for freezing enemies. And the Penguin Suit also freezes enemies and helps you swim faster and it helps you not slip as much on ice. That's all to say about. That's not really. Other things I can say about this game. Um, you have cannon warps. It's like you didn't use it to that. The one in World One warps you to World. The one in World. The one in World One and the one in World Two warp you to World Five. The one in World Three. The one in World Four warp you to World Six. And the one in World Five. And then the one in World Six. Warp you to world eight. That's all I'll say about this game. So now moving on. Nine on my, number nine on my list has to be Mario Kart Wii. You'd be like, a Mario Kart game made it to this list. Like a Mario Kart game on this list. And this is the crown of Mario Kart. This is the only Mario Kart game on the list pretty much. The reason why this one is the crown of Mario Kart is because everything moves at such a fast pace, making it really fun to speedrun each track. And I love the tracks in this game. And, you, and it almost feels like you're driving a real car when you use the Wii wheel, when you put the Wii remote in that. And it makes it really fun to play. So this one had to be the only Mario Kart game on this list would have to be Mario Kart Wii. Yeah, this was the crown of, of Mario Kart when it came to Mario Kart. And that was Mario Kart Wii. And I love Bill do this so much. And 
and this game's just so much fun. And then that's really all to say about this game. So now, pretty much moving on. Number eight on my list pretty much is New Super Mario Bros. U that came out in 2012 on the Nintendo Wii U. Excuse me. But this game is definitely another New Super Mario Bros. game, but more fun than the one we talked about, number 10. With more to do in this game. Guys, there's a lot more to do in New Super Mario Bros. U. Um, because I, uh, the flying squirrel suit, of course, is my favorite power up in the game. And of course, the level designs are great and the controls are perfect. And I love how the controls are perfect and, and that you can, and that everything moves at a fast pace, make it really fun to speed run for a level. Making each world really fun to play in this game, like, Making each of them really, really fun to play in this game. And then instead of canon levels, you have secret levels in this game. And not only each world has its own name, but each level has its own name as well. That's really all to say about this level, so now... That's really all to say about this game, I mean, so now I'm moving on. Number seven on my list has to be Super Mario 3D World that came out on the Nintendo Wii U back in 2013. Um, because of what power-ups you get here in those two in this game. Um, like the cat suit is a pretty cool power-up. <laughs> Otherwise, the graphics are just beautiful. Turn into the cat suit, which is my favorite power up in the game. And I also love the cat suit so much and stuff like that. And it makes platforming sections really fun. And you can use it to climb walls, you can use it to scratch enemies. It's really cool. Like the cat suit is cool to use. And I really like the cat suit a lot. The only drawback to this game is just how difficult it is. I personally think this is the second hardest Mario game in existence, next to Mario the Lost, next to Super Mario Bros. Lost Levels. That just spiked the difficulty a little too much for this game. But it's still a neat game nonetheless. Like, because the cat suit's really fun to use and stuff like that. So the game's still quite fun nonetheless. At least the cat suit makes it a lot easier to get the top of the flagpole. And that's all to say about this game, so now moving on. Number six on my list, of course, is Super Mario Maker 2 that came out back in 2019 on the Nintendo Switch. Because you can play online levels in this game. Not only you can play levels online that other people created, you can download those levels as well to your core spot. And you can create levels. You can make levels as challenging as you want them. That's the greatest freedom you have with this game. And you can do stuff like this. You can make your levels as crazy as you want. And so on and so forth. And that's really all I have to say about this game, so now I'm moving on. 
Number five on my list is Bowser's Fury that came out in 2021 on Nintendo Switch. The reason why this one is number five on my list is because it's so fun. You go through Lake Life Cat, which is a nice little environment to go through, and you explore around it. And you can use Blessing to hover around, to go around it. And then when the beast awakens, you get the super, but you get the Giga Bell, and then you take down the beast. And then you can have five to five, five to five to six. You can have six power-ups in your inventory. That's what makes this game really awesome as well. And that when the beast goes away, this is what happens. And that's what makes this game really, really awesome. You can just explore in the game. And once you've mastered the moves of Plessy, a lot of the levels are, a lot of the cat shines are quite easy to obtain. And then you go from the snow levels. You go from the terrain levels, the snow levels, to the lava levels. It's just full roller coaster thing. Excuse me. And I absolutely love this game. And that's what really all I have to say about this game, so now moving on. Number four on my list is Super Mario Sunshine that came out back in 2002 on the Nintendo GameCube. The reason why this one's number four is because you have the flood pack you can play around with and you can use it to spray and stuff like that. And this game is just really fun. And I absolutely love this game. And every level here is a water level, pretty much. Pretty much every level here is beach theme. Making this game really fun. Because I love how you can use um, Flood to hover, you can use Flood to spray enemies, and stuff like that. That's why this game goes at number 4 on my top on my top 10 favorite Mario games. And I don't have too many complaints in this game, except for that the, that, except for the some areas where it glitches out. I mean, it don't happen often, but but it's still die perfect nonetheless. And you spray this goop right here, and the goop is really, really fun to spray. And stuff like that. And this game is just one of my favorite 30 Mario adventures ever. It's just a really fun 30 Mario adventure. Piranha plants, he's spraying in their mouth, it's just like that. You know, the camera may not be the best, but you can always use first person view by doing this. And it will make your camera do this. And if you want to refill your water, just go to a body of water and press the R button to refill your water. That's all to say about this game, so now moving on. Number three on my list has to be Super Mario Odyssey. Number three on my list has to be Super Mario Odyssey that came out in 2017 on the Nintendo Switch. That is why this one's number three on my top ten favorite Mario games is because 
the why this is number three is because it's a really fun game. Graphics are gorgeous, controls are smooth, and everything. Everything moves at a fast pace, like it gets 60 frames per second, making it really fun to speed run each level. And the bosses are fun to fight too. And it really does make Mario look like a toy. And I love how it references the original Super Mario Bros. when you go into 2D sections. And I love Cappy where you possess enemies with it, and that's really cool. And you can dive on Cappy. And, you can, and Mario's very acrobatic in this game, kind of like in Super Mario Sunshine. I saw some birds flying away. If I saw a bird in some more sunshine, I'll spray it for a shine spray. And you have the Odyssey to travel from kingdom to kingdom in this game. And you have so tons of power moves you collect in this game. Excuse me. And I love the Cooper free running races. And <laughs> And I love the level designs in this game, and that's really all to say about this game, so now moving on. Number two on my list has to be Super Mario Galaxy 2. Um, because I love the spin mode you have in Galaxy games, like where you can jump into the spins, stuff like that. I love how this game has 120 power stars you collect. And I love the level designs in this game, the imagination in this game, the colors. And there's just a lot I love about Galaxy 2. Like, it's just one of my favorite Mario games ever. And that's why I'm ranking this at number 2. This is one of my favorite 30 Mario... That's why I'm ranking this at number 2. It's one of my favorite Mario games. <coughs> Excuse me. And of course, I love collecting star bits, I love co collecting comet medals, and of course, when you do, all 120 stars, and you beat Bowser again, and you beat the final boss again, you have locked green stars, which are really fun to find, and after you find 120 green stars, you unlock one of the hardest, that, then you unlock one of the hardest Mario levels in history, the perfect run. And then this game just runs smooth. The controls of this game are perfect. And, and it runs against 60 frames per second, making it really fun to speed run for a star. I love the controls in this game because the controls are perfect pretty much. Making it, making it really fun to use. And there are some sections where you turn the water into ice by ground pounding this. <clears throat> and I love one of the most awesome power ups in this game, the Cloud Flower. Which is have my favorite power up in the game has to be the cloud flower which allows you to create your own platforms after each spin <clears throat> and there's just so much to do in this game man And y'all know what number one is on this list now. Um, so, here we go to the number one on this list. Alright, here we go. Number one on my list has to be Super Mario Galaxy for the Nintendo Wii that came out back in 2007. So, Super Mario Galaxy also has to be number one for my top ten favorite Mario games. The reason why this is my favorite, because the controls are perfect, 
because of course the controls are perfect and everything moves at such a fast pace to make it really fun to speed run for a star. Also, the level designs are fantastic. The level designs are glorious. And nothing comes close to how good this game is. That's why it's my favorite Mario game of all time. It probably always will be. This holds the crown of Mario gaming. And probably always will. Because the level designs are perfect. The level design... Everything about this game is perfect. Um, making it really, really fun to play. And the music is so... And the music is so epic as well. Making it really fun and puts you in a good mood when you listen to it. Excuse me, and there's a lot of exploration. That's why I like better about this game than the sequel. It's how the sequel did not have as much exploration, because I'm not gonna lie, Galaxy 2 was very linear, and this game is not too linear by any means at all. Not like how Super Mario Galaxy 2 is. What I, did, what I love about Galaxy 2, what I forgot to mention in Galaxy 2, was I loved the addition to Yoshi in that game. But what makes Galaxy 1 my favorite Mario game is because the gravity mechanics in this game and the exploration in this game. Because in my opinion, the more exploration you have, the more fun the game is. That's why this is my favorite Mario game. Let me know down in the comments below what, what your favorite Mario game is and why. And let me know what you like about your favorite Mario game and how's, that spe how's your favorite Mario game special to you. Just let me know down in the comments below. Because I'd love to know what you like about your favorite Mario game. And have a good one, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.